What's up guys, welcome back, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are finally doing some more modifications to the beautiful E91 M3. I'm super excited because I got a lot of stuff going on over here. It's a lot of little things, but it's a lot of stuff. First things first, finally got another armrest from another one of our cars. Actually, this is from our cars, right? Yeah, our E92 M3. So we pick up an E92 M3. This section actually moves. I'll show you guys what's going on with it. And this is stiff too. So uh, that actually works. It's not as perfect condition as I would like it to be. We'll upgrade it again down the line, but you guys will see mine. This guy is just, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that doesn't work and it's super annoying when I put my elbow on it. Oh dear heavenly Lord. Anyways, the next thing we got right over here is some floating center caps from BMW. And I say from BMW because it's from the dealership, the dealership, uh, but my boy Erlon actually gave this to me. I believe it was my either birthday or Christmas present. One or the other. Shout out to him. Super happy about that. So that's kind of just chilling right there. We're gonna throw those on the car. The new competition wheels. And speaking of competition and performance and all the good little stuff from BMW, we have this beautiful M Performance F80 Alcantara carbon fiber shift knob. So that looks absolutely stunning. This is an Alcantara. It's got some white stitching. I went ahead and ordered this. This is like just, I pretty much needed the bracket to be honest. I'm probably gonna reuse the Alcantara and just put it on this M3 bracket and slap it in the car. This came out of an F80, the only offering for F80s. And uh, unfortunately, if you guys look at the actual shift knob, it's one with the boot. So yeah, we'll figure that out. The goal is obviously to install this bad boy. We have some competition CS seats in the E91 M3 from an F80. So having this F80 knob is gonna look so good in there as well. Coming out over here as well, we do have finally our rod bearings for the E91 M3. It's crazy to say that I went like this far with this build and actually doing the rod bearings. I've done the throttle actuators, but not the rod bearings. So shout out to FCP. We do have that because of them. And we also have our lifetime warranty on them. For those of you guys who don't know, rod bearings are not lifetime. They're just a, you know, a replacement that work better than OEM, but technically they do recommend replacing it every 60,000 to 80,000 miles. If you ever need to replace it down the line again, cause this car is a keeper, we just send those back when we get them back out and get a replacement. So that's pretty sick. We also have some oil, which we need to knock out ASAP. Yeah. I haven't done an oil change on this car for like a year. I don't drive it, Yeah, it's good. been a year. So, anywho, it's chilling back here. We have a carbon fiber, I believe this is the GT4 lip right here. So we have a carbon fiber uh, lip right here from Spec Ring. This looks absolutely gorgeous. And uh, honestly, I cannot wait to slap it on the car. A lot of you guys said I need a front lip and I definitely do. So we have this from Spec Ring. I also don't even know if I mentioned it in the, like in any video at all. I think I just got too excited. Um, I slapped on these uh, Spec Ring carbon fiber side skirt extensions and they look amazing. They really look do. literally stunning. So the quality too is super thick, it's super nice. I don't think that many companies are doing carbon fiber stuff for the older cars, like this E9X chassis. Um, so to see that they're still doing the carbon fiber stuff for this car is pretty good. And I'm super happy we got those. So yeah, the front end's gonna get some love, the interior's gonna get some love, the engine's gonna get some love. This isn't the only E9X that's gonna get some love. That bad boy needs <laughs> oh, yeah. some love. Now, this is my car right here. The fact that you have, yeah, this is Jonathan's car right over here. He doesn't have a spoiler on this car, which is uh, really upsetting me because it's an M3. It needs some kind of spoiler on here. He does need a badge. You need a which freaking emblem really badly. Really badly. Oh Lord. Like really badly. And this badge. They're coming in the mail guys. They're coming in the mail, but I do have the spoilers. So. Spoiler is here. So he's gonna be slapping that on. And also this car is too quiet. It is too we quiet. might need to show you guys some rev clips, but it's too quiet. I think it actually has an aftermarket exhaust. It has too, an right? aftermarket exhaust, but like it doesn't even sound good. Like I don't even like how it sounds. Yeah, so. It literally sounds stock to me. Yeah. It doesn't uh, sound like so good. anywho's, we actually have from another one of our cars, a straight piped exhaust. Um, it's just uh, from the inside, they just gutted it. So it's a stock exhaust, it's gutted. So when, you know, when you're driving around and a cop looks, looks good, underneath, dude. it looks stock, man. But uh, it's straight pipe, so it should be a whole lot better. It's like an OEM upgrade. So it's called like a two pipe OEM muffler mod. Gonna be better than this. Yeah, I for sure. Guarantee. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he gets that OEM look at the same time in case, uh, you know, the popo's on us. You know what I'm saying? First thing we're gonna go ahead and do is actually just do an oil change. So the car, you know, it's, it's cooled down right now. I wanna do oil change now. Go get something to eat, and then we'll get to the rest of the mods. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to get something to eat. Oil change is officially complete. Let's get that cold start up. Out out of high 
hibernation. Gotta get some Togos. I'm super excited for some Togos. I know Chipotle's been our thing. Togos be hitting. They do hit sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. I don't lie. know what it is. That tuna sandwich for me. You picked tuna too. That's so funny. Sound good. I'm just saying it tastes real good, but this thing sounds so good. Togo sandwich. Look at this bad boy. Oh, it's like half cut. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty good actually. Mm. <laughs> that is the last time you guys are gonna see her without a lip. But she looks so good regardless. <laughs> oh my god. We're back guys, ready to work. Uh, first thing we're gonna go ahead and do because why not is these actually should we do them right now? I just put on some brand new gloves. No, we're gonna pass on that for now because these are brand new. I think the first <laughs> thing we should go ahead and do is uh, get that e-brake stuff done. Not the e-brake, the ship knob, it's beautiful. So guys, with the magic of editing and time that's on your guys' side, this is gonna be converted into this and that's gonna be thrown into that. So, three, two, one, see you there. Bruh. Bruh. Dude, <laughs> what the freak? Bro, you did good on this one. It looks so good. I'm actually super happy it worked out because I just cut a $400 shift knob <laughs> Dude, it Bro. actually looks so good in the car. It looks so good. Guys, check out the carbon fiber, how it matches with this carbon, matches with this carbon, the steering wheel carbon, and then the white stitching just matches with a lot of other accents around the car. I just think it looks so, so, so good. That's crazy. But I can't get it to focus with that M performance. <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks really good. Now, what did you think of the texture? The texture is really nice. It's real carbon. Yeah. So you feel the texture of like the weaves of carbon. It's not like, a, I don't know how to explain it, but like, it's not smooth. Like you feel the rough patches of carbon on that shift knob. So was it worth every penny? I'll have to ask my wife, but uh, <laughs> shout out to her. <laughs> super happy with that, honestly. So that is a super sick mod. We have our oil changed up. We have the shift knob on there. The next thing is, that's easy. Slap on the center caps. All right, you guys, while Nor is working on his car, uh, I have a spoiler right here that I'm going to quickly install. I've done so many of these spoiler installs on my own videos as dedicated videos. And uh, honestly, I'm just kind of tired of making dedicated videos on it. So I'm just going to throw it into this video. We got this spoiler. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys which one we got. Ended up going with an M Performance style carbon fiber spoiler. So unfortunately, my trunk is kind of beat up. Like, I don't know, the previous owner kind of like had a different spoiler on here or the OEM one and didn't do it properly. They didn't take it off properly and they left a lot of scratches. So this trunk like this looks really bad. So I'm hoping that this spoiler covers up most of this stuff because if you guys look on the paint, you can definitely see how it's scratched up. So that has been bugging me. I've been needing a spoiler anyway. Two birds with one stone, I'm getting a spoiler and then I'm also covering up those scratches. Let me go ahead and get some 3M tape and then show you guys also what the spoiler looks like. It is a carbon fiber and performance style spoiler. It looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. The quality looks really good, especially for the price I got it for. I got this for a hundred bucks on eBay. I decided to take a risk on it and we're gonna have to go ahead and see the fitment, how good the fitment is. It looks like real carbon fiber, so I'm excited to throw this thing on. Let's go ahead and test fit it real quick. Fitment's not too bad. It actually needs the tape to hold it in properly. As you guys can see, it's kind of just like resting on there. Uh, so let me go ahead, actually get some 3M tape, clean off the trunk and uh, clean off the, the bottom part of the spoiler and then go ahead and put this thing on. It actually does look pretty good. So I'm excited to put this on. Alrighty guys, so I got it on there. So the fitment, it is all right, to be honest. It does kind of lift up on the corners. In order for it to actually sit properly, it kind of, the angle is kind of where it comes up a tiny, tiny bit. It is what it is, it's not the end of the world, but it is on there, really sturdy. Uh, it looks pretty good. Finally got a nice spoiler on there because the one that the car came with, I'll show you guys a picture. 
Um, it doesn't look that amazing, but this one is the M Performance one and I really like how this one looks compared to the one that the car came with. So next thing that we're gonna have to do with my car is definitely get a diffuser and then we're also gonna be doing an exhaust on my channel today. So we are swapping out the exhaust on this car. I'll go ahead and get some B-roll for you guys and then we're gonna go jump right back towards the E91. Time for some floating center caps. Sheesh! Oh, Shout out sick. to Earl Lon for hooking us up. I've always wanted these. I, I, I said it like, I just said it randomly one of the days at the shop, just randomly. I always would want one of these, but can I justify? <laughs> <laughs> no! No way! Did you scratch it? Do they have the plastic covers on it? They, they have the plastic covers. Oh, you're lucky son of a gun. No, they're good, they're good. <laughs> Earl Lon's probably gonna be watching this. <laughs> it's about like, bro. <laughs> no. No. Nah, they look fantastic. Still, they're fine. Typically, they have like that plastic that you peel off. Yeah, they actually don't. But they don't. They're fine. They're fine. They're oh fine. my lord. Yeah. yeah, look at that. They're still fine. <laughs> I got too excited, man. How am I supposed to know what? <laughs> it just falls out of the box. This is the first no. time I actually opened one of these. Now these are out of the box and they're still looking pretty fresh. Let's go ahead and remove these bad boys. Hopefully they're not too hard to remove. I'm gonna slap on these. Honestly, guys, I know I felt about these when, when Jonathan first swapped out with me. He went back to center, like stock centers, and then he gave me these and I was like, oh man, these look just don't look too good. But then the red kind of started matching with this and I started kind of messing with the vibes and now I have to remove them. So I don't know how I feel about it, but floating center caps, you know, you can't go wrong with that. We gotta get some rollers for you, bro. I think it looks sick. I mean, can you imagine like when you're driving it, the, the M logo, the yeah. BMW logo is just like staying still? Yeah. That's gonna look pretty sick. So let's go ahead and pop these off and slap on the new boys. Just give me this little, small little flathead. That worked fantastically. See, easy. Now we don't have to take off the wheels. <laughs> oh my God, I really did not want to do that. <laughs> oh no, those are the weights. Those are the weights, bro. Oh, that's how the BMW logo kind of, yeah. huh? Learn something new every day, huh? Learn something new every day. <laughs> I almost broke that off, bro. Oh my god, <laughs> I, just, bro. I thought that was the back of it to screw it on. <laughs> you know, like what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. So we want to do it with the logo, right? To be honest, it doesn't matter because because oh, uh, they're floating. <laughs> they're floating. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was like, well, they're floating, so. Oh. Fancy dancy. You like it or no? No, I love him. I love him. Okay. Uh, I just, is it, hear that scraping sound? Is that supposed to be like that? That's how it is, the mechanism. I think that's just how, how it is. But it but looks like it's functioning just normal. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna roll with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, bro. I'm actually, I really like this box. It I'm gonna put it back good. in here. Sell and them? I'm gonna put it in, no, no, I mean, you can sell them. Honestly, not a bad idea, but I think it looks super good in the box and just have the, I don't know. <laughs> I love my boxes. You don't, guys. This dude, okay, I don't know if you've ever talked about it. This dude has an Xbox 360 addiction. <laughs> okay, he literally has bought every single Xbox 360 they ever Li came out every, with. Every limited edition, Xbox 360. Every limited edition, like I'm talking like Halo 4, Gears, uh, of, Gears War. of War, and he has every single box with him. I don't even play them. the games. He doesn't even play them. He just has the collection, and the boxes are the biggest deal to him. The box, guys, the boxes make the limited edition console. It makes the full <laughs> unboxing experience. If you don't have the box, what unboxing experience are you having? So, I, I mean, I get it. It's just funny. You do have a real fascination with boxes, and it, <laughs> it, it's, it's funny to that, me. That's but. why this business really works for me, because I'm packing boxes and for perfect fitness with everything. Like, it really works out, man. It really works oh, out. Man. Honestly, guys, it does look fantastic. I like the OEM, like, rondels. It do look really more. good. And the fact that it's right now just like drop dead center. You know, it feel, I feel like you never ever see a BMW logo like drop dead center. Yeah, <laughs> it actually does look good. It looks really good, it looks sharp, you know? Yeah. I might need to cop some of these for my car now. Yes sir, I mean these wheels right now, I bet you a lot of you guys are like, Nor, come on dude, are you gonna get these things fixed or what? Eventually, eventually. We're, 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 everything in due time. You guys see I'm slowly modifying the car little by little. The details do matter. One of these days, it'll be perfected. Okay. And that right there, boys. Hey, oh, yo. I we'll love some, that. We'll get I some rolling that. clips for you. I wonder like when I'm driving, is it really just yeah. gonna be? I've seen it, yeah, it works. Dang, that's gonna be kind of crazy. It's good. 
So yeah, I mean, so far, M Performance shift knob that looks absolutely insane. Oil change done, center caps. What, what we got next, bro? I don't know, you got a whole shebang over so here. So we got a carbon fiber lip and an armrest. I Let's think I'm gonna see. go ahead and just knock out the armrest real quick. I was gonna say that. So we can just do the focus on the lip for the final product. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys when this thing's installed. It is nothing fancy. I've done it before when we did the whole F80 M3 interior. So yeah, three, two, one. Finally got the full function, fully back installed. I'm just gonna pull this out because I do like that. You know what I'm saying? It does look good. <laughs> Unfortunately, the leather is not as good, but it is functioning. It's no longer coming off while I'm driving. And uh, actually, I'm gonna put this back for now because whenever you pull up on the e-brake, especially if you have a manual, you could yeah. mess that up. We got this bad boy on here. We got this on here. The next thing is the lip. Did they see your carbon spoiler? Yeah, I showed So they showed the carbon spoilers. We're doing, a, we're doing some carbon mods today. So you guys saw the side skirts. Again, it's from Spec Ring. I'm having them linked down below. Uh, I also have a discount code with them for those of you guys who want some carbon with them. Um, so yeah, that's actually the, one of the few companies that are offering them and offering a discount on them. So check them out down below. Anywho, let's go ahead and uh, work on that front bump. Not too shabby. But yeah, it's gonna you, look so good. It does look really good. That looks insane. All right, guys, I think the first thing I'm gonna have to do is just sand this down a little bit, repair the wrap, and then throw this on there. So at least my bumper is looking AO1. <laughs> AO1, AOK. -okay. So guys, uh, we only are about one, two, three. We're on the fourth out of eight bolts. We're still on the fourth. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this is pretty difficult to get this lip on here, but that's mainly because of like the way it fits. If you guys look at it, um, if, it if we use self tappers, it wouldn't receive this kind of fitment. So the fitment looks absolutely amazing. I also actually repaired the bumper as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, no you know, white stuff showing. So the fitment's amazing. It just requires a lot of work, unfortunately. But I guess, you know, if you want quality fitment, you gotta put in the quality work, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So it's gonna take us a little bit longer, I think another 30 minutes, honestly, just trying to finoodle these uh, screws in. And then once we get that done, uh, we'll go ahead and do that test fit. Guys, so finally, finally, the car has a front carbon fiber lip. Just check that out, guys, and check out that fitment. That looks so, so, so good. Honestly, I'm super, super, super happy with it. At first, I looked at it and I was like, wow, that is way too much aggression for the front because all the modifications been going on in the front, now the rear seems a little naked. So we definitely need to get a carbon fiber rear diffuser. Maybe I'll reach out to them as well. And this front lip, guys, looks absolutely insane. Look at that front end. Now these headlights look super aggressive, fitting with it with the carbon fiber eyelids. At first, I didn't really know how I felt about the carbon fiber eyelids, but now with the carbon, it looks so proper. That being said, I did all the modifications I wanted to do to this bad boy today. We did the carbon fiber front lip. We did the OEM floating center caps. We did the OEM M Performance shift knob and shift boot, which looks absolutely insane. We also replaced this center armrest and last but not least, did an oil change on the beast. So honestly guys, we might need to take this thing out later tonight or tomorrow, get a little photo shoot with Johnny because the car is fine looking A1 right now. Look at that guys, that looks insane. That being said, Jonathan did a few things to his car. He put a carbon fiber spoiler on. He's been doing some things to his wheels, which we mentioned in his video, link down below. Uh, but also something that needs to be done to this car ASAP is an exhaust because the exhaust he currently has in his car came from Walmart. It's literally a Walmart. It's Becker <laughs> Performance, something like that. I don't know. It sounds Bro, bad, it though. sounds stock. It sounds really bad. They grabbed a stock muffler and just slapped their brand on it. it. I swear to you, it sounds... I don't know if you guys heard it earlier. Did you give some rev clips earlier? I have some rev clips. I'll throw it in. Okay, I'll throw it in right now. So you guys are about to hear how this thing sounds currently. <laughs> And as you guys heard, that sounds awful. So uh, yeah, we have an OEM plus, what's it called? It's essentially straight pipe, but it looks OEM, so. They're just gutting the OEM uh, exhaust. So for those of you guys who don't know, doing a muffler delete on this car does all of a difference. It sounds absolutely insane. So the exhaust that we have is a complete exhaust. It's gonna be drop out, drop in. The thing that we're throwing in there is gonna be resonator deleted and muffler deleted, but it looks stock. So that's gonna be pretty sick. I'm so, excited. Yeah, bro, you should be. It's gonna, <laughs> really it's gonna really make this thing a real M3. I'm super excited for this as well. So that being said, Jonathan took care of my M3. Thank you for helping me, bro. 
course, you're it's time to knock out the M3, the other M3. Let's get this thing proper. And guys, uh, we ran into the biggest fail of, uh, I would say, Jonathan's channel. And uh, I don't know if he's gonna have the video ready for you guys to see on his channel. Probably in a couple days, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if Jonathan has the motivation to edit this Ugh. video and the other oh, video. Oh lord. Uh, but long story short, we just—it's actually not here right now. He took it home. I'm doing an old change around on the F-150 in the background because, uh, yeah, Jonathan ran into the biggest headache of his life. I just installed an exhaust that uh, sounded worse than the one you guys heard. And uh, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that, bro. <laughs> I, that's all we're gonna leave it at that. If you guys want to see what happened, I, honestly, it was the biggest fail, the tremendous waste of money. It was insane. If you guys want to see that, make sure to check out his channel. Again, I have it linked down below. But it's gonna have to conclude the video. Thankfully, everything on our car went according to plan. Um, something as well that I'm gonna be adding to this car. I found on Facebook Marketplace is a carbon fiber diffuser. It has a slight crack right there. We're gonna go ahead and probably get this refinished somewhere um, so that we can actually have the full carbon kit on the E91 F3. I think that looks super, super, super dope. Um, and then now it feels like I need a spoiler or something up here. So <laughs> it's always something, you know what I mean? But anywho, it's just gonna have to conclude this video. Hopefully in the next video, we're gonna be doing some more fun things. We actually got a car that is super, super, super rare. Like one of the rarest cars. We've already parted it out and it's actually insane in terms of pricing on parts and it's just an absolute insane car for those of you guys who follow us on instagram you guys already know what that is if you guys are not make sure to follow us down below but without further ado it's gonna have to conclude the video see you all in the next one peace out